This is the future. morning guys it's uh, seven o'clock and we are going to start with the cleaning process today so we have to clean and wash the gearbox clean and wash all the bolts and nuts and spares and the torsion bar I think it's a torsion bar I actually have no idea stabilizer well anyway that thing uh, the CV joints and uh, then we are going to wash the area clean see if I can get all the oil off that made a mess and um, while we wait for the ground to dry we will be replacing the clutch kit and hopefully I cannot promise you anything but hopefully we can try and get this gearbox back onto the engine today I don't know how but we're gonna try hi guys so the time is now 10 o'clock the spares are clean the bar is clean. Um, I cleaned the CV joints. CV joints are nice and clean. Only thing that's left now is this assembly here, just to clean that. And then, of course, uh, the gearbox itself, especially inside here. This is very dirty. And then um, uh, we can proceed with. Um, Changing the clutch plate, but uh, first I had some breakfast, so that's why it took a bit longer. Okay, guys, before I stop cleaning, I want to quickly clean this side as well. So we're going to remove the clutch plate by removing these bolts here. So the size 11. I think there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or so of them. But you just take off this bolts, and this whole plate assembly comes off. Then we can see what it looks like there. And so I'm going to uh, clean the flywheel and then we just need to clean the gearbox. I've already cleaned this now. All this is uh, good. So uh, let's just quickly do that. Okay guys, the clutch plate is off. As you can see, it did get a bit warm. Or it did get a bit hot. Here where the clutch is running. There's a little bit of a groove there. Unfortunately, I cannot take the flywheel to get skimmed because I have to get this thing up and running by tomorrow so I don't have time but I did clean it and then I definitely 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 found the problem <laughs> so this is our clutch plate that goes onto the flywheel doesn't look too bad so like I said it just get, got warm but then when you turn it around ta -da! there we go there's absolutely nothing left. This was metal on metal. Look at this uh, groove that it ate in here. This thing is fubar, definitely. So uh, we're going to put the new one on now. Oh, let's first finish cleaning the gearbox. That thing is like a, a mountain in the head of me. Uh, let me clean the gearbox first. And then once the gearbox is clean, we'll start assembling. Okay guys, I'm just quickly gonna take out this fork. So we can take this pressure bearing out. Okay guys, we're gonna start the assembly. I'm gonna put the clutch kit on, or the new clutch plate and pressure plate, what, what, what. So I spoke to a mechanic friend of mine and he told me that I must take some sandpaper and just sand the surface of the flywheel so it's nice and rough again. Um, otherwise it's going to start slipping again in a while. And uh, he says, don't sand like this, sand like this. And just make the surface a little bit rough before you put the, the new clutch plate on. <laughs> Hi guys, remember when you put on the new clutch plate, you will see on this side, it will say gearbox side, which means this side shows towards the gearbox. In other words, this side comes against the flywheel. The torque specifications for these bolts are 17.5 Newton meter. Okay guys, as you can see, I tried to line this up as in the middle as I can according to where it should go but from here it still looks a bit out it's not middle 
So I'm going to do what the other guy said to make sure that it feels the same on the three sides. So I'm trying to line this thing up with the rest of the flywheel. Okay guys, that looks very close to the bloody in the middle. I'm going to tie it down where it is. Okay guys, to make sure that this uh, clutch plate is exactly center, <laughs> I actually went a bit technical. I first felt all along the sides to make sure that the lip is the same all around. Then I checked it with the eye to make sure that it's in the middle. And to make doubly sure, I took a vernier and I measured three points. I took my vernier and I know this is a crude way of doing it, but I measured it like this and then I checked the measurement and on all three places it's 45. So I checked it in three places from the flywheel to the disc it's equally all sides so this thing has to be center there's no other way okay guys our next assembly is going to be to put our new thrust bearing where it belongs yay okay guys so here's my plan to get this gearbox back i'm going to use that trolley jack i'm going to use the wooden plank underneath the gearbox i'm going to put the gearbox on top of the trolley jack and I'm going to try and jack it up to the height that it should be. Then I've cut myself five guides and I'm gonna put them in the holes and let the gearbox hang on the guides while I try to maneuver in the gearbox on the splines and uh, hopefully it won't fall out until I can get it flush against the gearbox and or get a bolt in. So this is just to help me to keep it there because as I told you this jack doesn't stay up, this jack keeps on dropping and obviously I can't pick this thing up, it's too heavy for me. So uh, that's the aim of the game and we'll see if it works. Okay guys, my plan is working, I've got a pin there, I've got a pin in there and that's guiding it while, I have, told me I'm just all right. while I have the jack to support the weight. It's just wiggle wiggle now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, all this is on the right side and out. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jack it up a bit more. I'm going to put a dry shaft in and turn it little by little so that we can get the splines inside to go into the gearbox. I'm 100% sure I am center. Okay guys, the gearbox is in. It wasn't even that difficult. It wasn't <laughs> except for balancing it and getting it up. Was, and the wife helped. Yeah, thanks, thanks, wife. She helped. Once the <laughs> once the pins were in, it was just a matter of maneuvering it in, and then I just uh, turned the side shaft a little bit, and then it just slipped up. I turned the the side shaft. It turns normally. It turns quite smoothly. So yeah, now tomorrow is just putting back all the bibs and bobs and then we'll do the starting and see what happens i'm just glad the gearbox is in this was my biggest fear and worry for the day was getting this thing in see you tomorrow hey guys if you like this video please consider subscribing to this channel give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel and feel free to drop a comment then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done also. Don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel 
to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.